Hospital Departments By watching this video, you will learn to Define Hospital Department Identify three types of hospital departments Name various departments in a hospital And describe what different hospital departments do To start with, a hospital department is a part of a hospital that deals with a particular medical specialty or area of work. Depending on different factors, hospitals may use different words for department. These words include unit, center, division, and institute. Hospital departments can be divided into different types. In this video, We'll group the departments into three types, namely clinical, ancillary, and operations management. Clinical departments deal directly with the examination and treatment of patients and their illnesses. Let's take a closer look at several of these departments. Take note that some departments may not exist, may be named a little differently, or may be combined into a single department in different hospitals. The Department of Anesthesiology specializes in pain relief for patients before, during, and after surgery. The Cardiology Department deals with illnesses of the heart and blood vessels. The Dermatology Department diagnoses and treats diseases of the skin, hair, and nails. The Department of Emergency Medicine treats people who are injured or suddenly ill. It is more commonly known as emergency room or ER. The Endocrinology Department deals with the endocrine system, which is made up of glands that create and release hormones. The Department of Family Medicine provides health care for the individual and family, across all ages, genders, and diseases. The gastroenterology department specializes in the digestive system and its disorders. The Department of Genetic Medicine diagnoses and manages hereditary disorders. That is, those caused by abnormalities in a patient's DNA. Genetic medicine is also called medical genetics. The Geriatrics Department deals with the care and treatment of elderly people. Geriatrics is also known as geriatric medicine. The Department of Hematology treats people with blood-related disorders. The Immunology Department specializes in allergies and diseases of the immune system. The inpatient department deals with admitted patients. That is, those who need to stay in the hospital for one or more nights while they are getting treatment. It has doctors and nurses who monitor the patients all day and all night. The intensive care unit, or ICU, looks after patients who are very sick or badly injured, that they have to be watched very closely and given special medical care. Intensive care is also called critical care. The Department of Internal Medicine specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases inside the body. Some subspecialties of internal medicine include cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, hematology, nephrology, oncology, pulmonology, and rheumatology. The maternity unit provides care for women who are about to give birth or have just given birth to babies. The Department of Nephrology treats kidney diseases. Nephrology is also called renal medicine. The Neurology Department specializes in disorders of the nervous system, which consists of the brain and nerves. The Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, or OBGYN, OBGYN, or OBGYN for short, covers the following. 
Obstetrics, which deals with pregnancy, childbirth, and the postpartum period. And gynecology, which specializes in the female reproductive system. The Department of Oncology specializes in the diagnosis, treatment, and management of cancer. The Ophthalmology Department diagnoses and treats eye disorders. The orthopedics department specializes in the musculoskeletal system. It treats injuries to the bones, joints, ligaments, or tendons. The department of otolaryngology handles medical problems concerning the ear, nose, head, and neck. Otolaryngology is also known as otorhinolaryngology or ear, nose, and throat, or ENT for short. The outpatient department deals with people who visit the hospital for diagnosis or treatment of health problems, but do not need to be admitted. The Department of Palliative Care aims to improve the quality of life of patients with serious or life-threatening illnesses, such as cancer and heart disease. It provides the patients with relief from pain, discomfort, and other related symptoms. The Department of Pediatrics specializes in health care for infants, children, and adolescents. Pediatrics is also called pediatric medicine. The Physiatry Department aims to enhance and restore the functional ability and quality of life of people with physical impairments and disabilities, including brain and or spinal cord injuries, strokes, and nerve damage. Physiatry is also known as Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, or Rehabilitation Medicine. The Department of Psychiatry diagnoses and treats mental illnesses. The Pulmonology Department deals with diseases of the lungs and respiratory system. The Rheumatology Department deals with painful and typically inflammatory or infectious conditions of the joints and other parts of the musculoskeletal system. The Department of Surgery administers treatment of injuries or diseases by cutting open the patient's body and removing or repairing the damaged parts. The Urology Department deals with diseases of the male and female urinary tract systems and the male reproductive organs. Now let's proceed to ancillary departments which support the work of clinical departments. The admissions department asks patients to provide their personal information and sign consent forms before they are taken to another department for inpatient care. The billing department prepares statements, that is, detailed lists of charges that patients must pay, and receives their payments for hospital treatments and services. It also assists patients with their health insurance benefits. This department is also known as patient accounts. The catering and food services department prepares meals and serves them to inpatients, family members, and hospital staff. The meals are typically based on a menu provided by the nutrition and dietetics department. The Central Sterile Services Department cleans, disinfects, and sterilizes reusable medical equipment. It then stores and distributes the equipment for later use by hospital staff. This department is also called Sterile Processing, or Central Supply. The Chaplaincy Department looks after the spiritual well-being of patients, relatives, and hospital staff. The housekeeping department cleans the different parts of the hospital. It also deals with the laundry and waste disposal. 
The medical records department keeps both inpatients and outpatients files as reference for future examinations and treatments. The nutrition and dietetics department gives professional advice on diet for both inpatient and outpatient departments. It makes dietary charts and meal plans to be followed by catering and food services so that patients get nutritious food in the hospital. The pathology department examines samples like body fluids or tissue from patients to determine the cause and nature of their diseases. The pharmacy department is responsible for the storage, preparation, and distribution of inpatient medicines. The Department of Physiotherapy uses various techniques, such as special exercises, to treat illnesses or injuries that limit patients' ability to move and do functional activities in their daily lives. Physiotherapy is also known as physical therapy. The radiology department diagnoses and treats illnesses through imaging technology, which includes X-rays, radioactive substances, ultrasound, computed tomography or CT, and magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. The Department of Social Work helps patients and their loved ones deal with various psychological and social issues and stresses related to coping with illness and maintaining health. It serves as a bridge between the hospital setting and patients' family life, home, and community. Finally, we have departments under operations management. These departments do not have direct interaction with patients. Rather, they focus on the hospital's provision of adequate health care services. The administration department oversees the hospital's day-to-day -day operations. It coordinates all other departments to ensure that they work together as a whole. The finance department ensures that the hospital operates efficiently and effectively, using the money it has. Its responsibilities include making budgets, releasing money for supply purchases and employee salaries, and keeping the hospital's financial records. The Human Resources, or HR department promotes employee productivity and satisfaction through appropriate policies, training, compensation, and benefits. It is also in charge of recruiting the right people to become members of the hospital's staff. The Information Technology, or IT department, handles the hospital's computer systems, which keep track of patient records, enable online services, and facilitate communication among staff. This department keeps the systems updated and secure, and it provides technical support when they crash. The Maintenance and Engineering Department makes sure that the hospital facilities are in good condition. It regularly checks medical machines, as well as electrical and plumbing systems, in the hospital. It also does repair and replacement work when necessary. Summary First, a hospital department is a part of a hospital that deals with a particular medical specialty or area of work. Second, depending on different factors, hospitals may use different words for department, for example, unit, center, division, and institute. Third, hospital departments can be divided into the following three types, clinical, ancillary, and operations management. Fourth, here are examples of hospital departments. Take note that some of these departments may not exist, may be named differently, or may be combined into a single department in various hospitals. Finally, we can refer to each hospital department as name plus department or department of name.
Let's take a quiz to check your understanding. You will see the correct answers toward the end of the video. 1. Identify if the statement is true or false. 2. Match the items in the left column with the correct items in the right column. 3. Unscramble the letters to name the following hospital department. 4. Fill in the blank with the correct words for a hospital department. 5. Choose the correct answer. Six. Choose the correct answer. Seven. Match the items in the left column with the correct items in the right column. Eight. Choose the correct answer. Nine. Choose the correct answer. Ten. Match the items in the left column with the correct items in the right column. Good job on completing the quiz. Here are the correct answers.